What? Wow, this is a real thing? Somebody said Have you considered just yourself? Wow. That's uh, quite on the nose there. This is Shoe on Heads, The Male Loneliness Ep- Epidemic. Yeah, I, I don't really know if I have strong opinions on this from the get-go. I know that it's a problem uh, that needs to be solved. I know that a lot of leftists try to act like it's not a problem. And whenever a man is like, you know, upset, understandably, that he can't find a, a girl to date, a nice, lovely girl, or a, or a guy, you know. Uh, basically men just having issues in the dating market that are very real issues. It's usually brushed off by leftists like, ah, well, if you weren't such a fascist, like, you know, and also like all this rhetoric around like man, uh, men bad, right? Men bad. We all know men bad. I've joked about it too, but it's just a joke. Men are awesome. All right. Cis and trans alike, white and black alike. All right. We're all men. We're all awesome. And, I do personally feel like the left could do a better job. I have talked about this before. The left could do a much better job at marketing itself toward men. But every time you try to bring that up, it's like uh, people saying, well, it doesn't have to all be about men. Everything else is already about men. And it's like, well, no, like not really. Like yes and no, right? Because there are obviously bigger issues than men and their dating interests. That's true. But if you want the most powerful demographic in the world, Men, right? We are the most powerful demographic in the world, especially white cis men, cis hat men. Um, if you want them on your side, you got to appeal to them. All right. And believe me, you f- want them on your side. I say this as somebody who is mostly cis hat and a white man. So, um, you know, you, you do absolutely want those people on your side. And so you have to appeal to them. You have to address their needs and their interests. So. Uh, besides that, as far as like how to fix it, that's a little more complicated. You can tell men to improve themselves, but systemically, it's really only going to fix. I'd have to sit down and think about it more, but really, it's it's not something you can fix with a snap of a finger. It, it takes a lot of cultural shifting, shifting to kind of fix that problem overall. But let's see what Chu has to say about it and just go from there. To inform you, the men are not okay. That's right, folks. The men are not okay. The men have no friends, no girlfriend, no college education, no money, are breaking their legs and inserting metal rods into their bones to be a few inches taller, and listening to AI bat- Well, I I think that last one that she said, I I personally wouldn't do that. Like, are you kidding me? But, like, somebody who wants to be taller, like, yeah, why not? Men help them overcome their- addictions. You deserve real love. Turns out the society that was built by and allegedly for men has indeed let them down. Now you might be True. thinking, oh look, another boo-hoo poor men video by Shoe on Head. Yes. And if you have a problem with that, tune into literally anything else. The man question. I love that question. Men are in a crisis and it seems nobody really cares. Man, she really does just hit all the buttons for like your classic Reddit incel who is just searching for any kind of meaning or purpose or like any answer to their woes. It's it's kind of uncanny. Like she's got kind of the buck teeth look going on. Like nerdy, but not quite that nerdy girl. That's like, you know, also paid. Like she got the American flag in the back. She's conservative adjacent. I don't want to call her a conservative. I think that politically she's just... It's a, it's a trope, but she, she's kind of politically homeless. She does like to cater and kowtow a little bit to conservatives more than the uh, the opposite. But she really is kind of the like if ever there were a woman to talk about these issues, at least aesthetically speaking, there's no better woman to do it than her. Why are men and boys struggling? And what should we do about it? A few new studies have come out that have shown that young men are more lonely and single than ever before. But it's not just men. The women and children, too. It's predicted 45% of women will be single and childless by 2030. But according to the media, this is a good thing. The she-economy is booming, as they say. And meanwhile, men being single is treated like this. New study explains why some single men are having a hard time finding a new partner. Some of the music that they listen to speaks very derogatory. Right. Yeah, men, stop listening to that derogatory music. Then maybe you will... I think there's some truth to that. 
I think there's a lot of music that kind of denigrates women, but I don't think that's like the core reason. It's more of a symptom of the problem than the problem itself. Won't be single. I don't know, I think men and women being single and lonely kind of shows there might be something wrong uh, with society. Perhaps we should address this, not just wave it off as empowering or that's true. pathetic. According to several different articles, I love how that's my source, I read about it on the internet, research shows that people from individualist countries show a greater sense of loneliness. This is linked to socioeconomic that's development, absolutely increased true. education, a shift towards white collar jobs, and urbanization. Japan also has an issue with loneliness. In fact, they have a whole movement of people yep. they call the hikukomori. Did I say that right? I think I've heard of that. I don't care. Basically, postmodern hermits. Mostly young men who completely withdraw from society. Yeah, I've definitely heard of themselves in their rooms for months and years at a time. In 2010, there was an estimated 700,000 hikukomori in Japan. And today, it's estimated to be about 1.55 million. And because of things like Jesus this, Christ. people aren't having babies. So Japan's population has been in a sharp decline since 2000. Go forth and it's reproduce, so you beta Japan bitches. Produces videos of live action women staring into the camera to help the hikikomori learn to cope with eye contact and reintegrate them back into society. What? Who's this helping? I hate this. I'm so uncomfortable. If you want to stare at somebody, it's really not that hard to just find somebody who's like, okay with that. You know, you could almost use that as like a pickup line, right? You just go up to a woman, you're like, hey, my buddy said that I can't beat you in a staring contest. You want to prove him wrong? Or you you want me to help him prove? Uh, you, or or uh, do you want me to prove? Fuck. <sighs> oh, man. Oh, boy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just so. Oh, God, you're so hot. Uh, anyway, uh, that's exactly how you do it. So basically, if you want to know America's future, look no further than Japan. A lot of people, including myself, blame this partially on the rise of social media and technology. R.I.P. to the king. Although technology partially. makes things easier, it can also make us more atomized. Why go to the mall when I can just tap, 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 buy a new microphone and have it shipped to me in a day? Why hang out with friends when Girl. I can get all my social interaction I need from Twitter and... I can't believe she's still on the blue mic. I know that I am too, but Shu's been in the game for so long. I guess that speaks to the fact that the blue mic is actually, as much shit as it gets, it's a pretty decent mic, especially if you have uh, software to, to help kind of fix it. Streamers, why go on dates and bother meeting women when I could just tap, 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 Google big boob and get 2 million results, or see my high school crush's holes on OnlyFans for only $5. Instant dopamine, instant satisfaction, and hey, who even needs a real woman when you could just have an AI girlfriend? We're sweet. We're so Dating apps really are the great Satan, and I'm convinced they've completely broken great men's Satan. brains. Women on dating apps are picky. Women in general are picky, and I mean... See, she said, what's the great Satan? Dating apps really are the great Satan, and I'm convinced... The great Satan is dating apps. That would make the lesser Satan uh, porn sites, I suppose. I don't know. I was trying Vince, to they've completely broken men's brains. Women on dating apps are picky. Women in general are picky. And I mean, naturally, we are pickier. You know, we're the ones who carry the babies, at least for now. But Absolutely on dating apps, rocker. you have to admit, it's a Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're the ones who carry the babies, at least for now. Artificial womb breaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is awesome. This is actually really cool. Um, I saw some people getting really mad about this on Twitter. I guess it's X now, but I'm still going to call it Twitter. F*** you, Elon. Uh, but this is actually genuinely really cool. But what she's saying is wrong. It's not that women are naturally more selective because they're the ones that carry the babies. It used to be the opposite. In Greek culture, in some Greek cultures at least, uh, women were considered the promiscuous ones, the ones that were sex seekers, right? The ones that wanted to get laid all the time. Whereas men were kind of the gatekeepers. So there are societies that... This intuitively makes sense, sure, but it's not based in, like, reality. Because it wasn't always this way. There was a time also that you just f***ed the first w woman you found or the first man you found so that you could, you know, uh, progenerate or proliferate or whatever and die at the ripe old age of 27, you know? So, it, it really varies. For now, but on dating apps, you have to admit, it's a little insane. It's safe to say that the commodification of love and the window shopping 
of dating apps probably has to do a lot with the rise of lonely single men. I, I take issue with the idea that you're not just window shopping at a bar because you are. It's the same idea kind of as dating apps with the exception that if you approach a woman at a bar, you're she's kind of forced at least for a period of time to interact with you, even if it's just for a second to say to f off, right? So that being at a bar in real life is better than a dating app. That's not my argument. My argument is you're still window shopping at a bar. <laughs> like, let's be real. Men are not just lonely when it comes to dating, they're lonely when it comes to friendship too. According to Vox, Americans are currently in a friendship recession and men are being that hit is the true. hardest. The percentage of I really do not have that many IRL friends. Uh, Greycraft recently became a new one that at least when we learned that we're pretty close to each other. But my only other like IRL friend that isn't my partner is uh, somebody I only hang out with like once every year or something. <laughs> I hung out with him earlier this year. It was pretty fun. But uh, yeah, I probably need more friends. It's fine. Men who reported having at least six close friendships fell in half since the 90s. One in five men say they have no close friendships. Looking at all these statistics, I guess you could count my siblings. Figures but... like Andrew Tate is not surprising at all. I believe being a man is a blessing because it starts so difficult. I believe that every man is born without any value at all. I think that the world's never going to think you're important unless you make yourself important. And recently, a new study came out about how young men are moving towards the right. And every other month, we, the... Okay, this is fake. I was watching Vaj talk about this and uh, all the reasons that it's bull. Young men are not more conservative. And to the extent that they are, we're going to see a reversal of that. Because don't, re don't forget, I used to be a conservative too. As they grow older and they see the world as a as it is and it's not getting any better they are going to lean left at least socially even if you if they still hate the gays or whatever they're still going to come unless they're like suburban kids uh like upper middle class suburban kids which is a very shrinking demographic by the way they're going to grow up and realize that there's nothing for them and the only two options they really have are to completely resort to incel fascist whatever they find online or understand the world as it really is, take the real red pill, and fight for progressive causes. Because that's how their life is going to tangibly improve, is if we have robust social reform. A new study came out about how young men are moving towards the right. And every other month, we, the liberal, sockdom, leftist, we, whatever you want to call- What's this we? You're like conservative tangential, dude. She's not a- by the way, I want to be clear, she's not a conservative- I think that, like, she doesn't think that hard about her politics. She's a meme lord overall. The space online performs the same song and dance. What's wrong with men? Why is this happening? Why don't we have a leftist Andrew Tate? We need to push men to the left. Andrew Tate rarely, if ever, talks about politics. Andrew Tate talks about men. And the left only talks about men when they talk about Andrew Tate. A few months- Um, Talking about men in the way that Andrew Tate does is innately political. Everything's political. So when you say that Andrew Tate doesn't talk about politics, sure, he doesn't talk about like political procedures or, you know, economics or anything like that. But he does put ideas into the heads of young men or young boys that are political by, by their very nature. So like the grind set thing, right? Oh, just get on your, get on your grind set. Be a top G. Well... That puts the idea into the heads of young men that if you're not a top G, if you don't own a Ferrari or a Bugatti, right, uh, or have a big house, then they, that's your personal failure because you didn't work hard enough. That's where the political part comes in because they ignore the the tangible problems and then, you know, uh, by uh, follow up the solutions to those problems and just think they either blame themselves or they blame other people for whatever. I don't know. Uh, so that's kind of how it's political, just by its nature. They, they talk about being queer, being degenerate. Yeah, sometimes they do. Sometimes they engage in that a little bit. Months ago, during one of the monthly song and dances, some progressive people I follow made the mistake of addressing men's issues. Worth noting, by the way, that she did not actually call out Andrew Tate on anything important. And meanwhile, she is constantly calling out the left. Not that she's wrong about some of the things she's saying, but just interesting to note and the even bigger mistake of pointing their finger at their own spaces for not doing enough to address- The reason young men flock to all- I remember this tweet. Uh, movements is because the left gives a brain-dead advice to young men. We need to be more 
compassionate for to them for our own sake. I do agree with that. Press said men's issues. Recently, there were some statistics by healthcare company Cigna indicating oh that men are this. the loneliest generation. And addressing it doesn't mean that you turn your back on issues pertaining to women, but it does mean that we should be focused on what it is in society that is leading to this epidemic, what the left can do to offer solutions, and how we can basically fight back against the more nefarious figures who have filled the void uh, that you know men are struggling with, people like Jordan Peterson and what have you. Now recently, uh, Vosh, who's a popular streamer, had tweeted this thread that I think is really, really important to address. He writes, mm. I cannot stress enough how important it is to understand Bouch. that 12 year old white boys on Twitch are not being pulled into fascism because of some Machiavellian desire to preserve and expand their privileges. It's because the right talks to them and the left doesn't. The responses to the- Yeah, Anna used to be so based. I don't know what happened to her, man. It's, I, I feel like the real wall for women is not when you hit a certain age. It's when you hit a point in your career, like your political career, that, or not even political career, just in your politics in general, that like you just become a reactionary right wing, like, uh, you know, transes stay out of my bathroom kind of person. You know what I mean? Like it started with, don't call me a birthing person. I'm a woman. It's the, the term is woman. And then somebody rightfully pointed, a bunch of people rightfully pointed out to her that that's kind of exclusive of trans men, right? The whole point of having a term birthing person is so that in a medical capacity, if somebody is to give birth, if they have the the materials and the equipment to do that, they're a birthing person, not necessarily a woman. That's the context in which that's used. I've literally never heard even the libbiest of liberals use the term birthing person in a, a context other than that. It doesn't happen. But Anna got super pissed off about it, and now she's uh, on her Why I Left the Left arc. And by next year, she'll be being taught in Florida schools, actually. Some Florida children will be well acquainted with her and her PragerU appearance, which she hasn't made yet, but just give it some time. These tweets and this content were very normal, level-headed, and respectful. Me when I lie. Elameo, cry about it. Boo f***ing who? Oh no! Oh Paul yeah, I remember. People were getting pissed off at Shark for this Elmeo, one. cry about it. As a guy who has always had more uh, difficulty dating and making connections than my peers through life, these combos about loneliness and men always hurt more. Yeah, like this was a really good tweet by Shark, really insightful. And people were like, eh, the men, the men don't have any problems because you're a man. <laughs> Checkmate, idiot man, fascist, misogynist, bleh. Boo f***ing who? Oh no, poor widow men having problems. Boo f***ing who? Grow the f*** up then. Have men considered being smarter? I'm enjoying oh, yeah, all true. sad little moids and their sad little tweets about their sad pathetic lives. Sounds like a personal problem. Is the lack of compassion for men in the room with us right now? Maybe men are just not good people then. I'm so f***ing- one of the core issues of why men act the way they do is because they are expected to be more emotionally stalwart, right? So yeah, that naturally leads to a lack of compassion for men. That has led to all kinds of social problems. I made a video about this last year. Um, it's like 30 or 40 minutes. And I talked about all the social problems that men have that women frankly don't, okay? We get incarcerated at way higher rates than women. I think on a federal level, we make up like 95% of the prison population or something insanely stupid. Our prison sentences are way longer than women's. We, well, when, when a man does a assault, which is very bad and don't do that, obviously. And I'm not saying I feel bad for the men who do this, but just bear with me. When a man commits a assault, right? He goes to prison for decades sometimes. When a woman does it, it's like five years. If that, like it's, it's barely anything. Okay. My point in making that statement is not to say that one or the other is the correct sentence. It should all be overhauled. But I would say that 50 years for a crime for a man and a woman committing the exact same crime. And it's one tenth of that is not fair. That's a little bit weird. I'm tired of people trying to make male loneliness a huge societal problem. Yeah, no, their fifis are not my responsibility, and I shouldn't have to be punished because they can't get their shit together as human beings. Grow the f 
up. Why are we Who's trying to win you? these entitled little predators over? The left isn't for them. That's why they go right in the first place. We're all lonely and alienated. It's young men going to the alt-right in droves. The problem isn't our messaging, it's them. This is literally the meme, the Simpsons meme. Uh, editor, you know the meme I'm talking about, and if you don't, um, I'll, I'll, I'll help you when I'm <laughs> when, when you get to the Spartan, the editing. Just reach out. <laughs> It's literally not our problem. Men flock to Andrew Tate not because they're lonely. But it's the one where Seymour is like, uh, are the are the kids wrong? No, no, no. Am I wrong? And then he's like, no, it's the kids who are wrong or something like that. Because they're bigots. Hope this helps. Nah, it's just misogynists being louder than before and not getting laid. LOL. Cry harder, losers. 90% of all homicides recorded worldwide were committed by male perpetrators. We should just get rid of all men. Gee, I wonder why that is. I guess men are just inherently freakazoids who love to kill people, right? Yeah, just like it, you could say the exact same thing about black people and be just as accurate, by the way, because it's bullshit. It's quite hateful bullshit, actually. Just because I'm a man does not mean that I have a greater tendency to commit violence, all right? Statistically speaking, more men do, but then again, so do black people. So something is clearly wrong here unless you're also just a racist. Else, to be honest, this includes trans women, as they still retain male violence. By the way, you know the Tumblr feminists who were like, all men are sexist and rapist, male tears, penises are evil, blah blah blah, back in the day? Well, this is them now. Should've just let me cook back then. Listen up, chuckle f I'm white, socially awkward, autistic, in my 40s, ugly, overweight, crippled, got a weird balding pattern, and have bad skin. You know what I didn't do? Choose to become a fascist. White, socially awkward, autistic. I'm not autistic, I'm ADHD. I'm 27, not in my 40s. Uh, I don't think I'm ugly. I am technically obese, but I mean, I'm not crippled. I do have a weird balding pat. Well, it's not weird. It's just, you know, male pattern baldness. Bad skin, absolutely. <clears throat> I have terrible skin. But these are not things that I go, <laughs> go around telling people. I don't tell people, listen, this is such weird, right? Because it's like, I don't go around saying this. It's like, I know I have more confidence in myself than this. And also, like, I understand that the way that I met Katie was very lucky. I met her on a dating app and she just happened to be on there for fun. And I paid for Tinder gold. OK, I'm a nerd. I'm a loser. Uh, so, well, I don't want to say that I was a loser. That's how I met her because <laughs> um, uh, I paid for Tinder gold for like a couple of months. But it worked. So, hey, here we are. Uh, but I still would not recommend that method. Uh, it's much better to meet people in, in real life, generally. <laughs> but yeah, this is really weird. I don't know why why he would do this. Because I recognize Listen most up, of chuckle. the like me are the problem. I may be hideously ugly and pathetic, oh, good. He's but one of the at good least ones. I'm not a fascist. Thank you for your input, buddy. You're uh, really helping the situation. The reason young men flock to old-right nice MRA movements is because the left gives brain-dead advice to young men. You know what it is? Conservatives see this, and they immediately... They actually are correct when they think this. This is a guy who is like praying that some haughty, baddie liberal woman will see this or like leftist woman with like a septum piercing and like, uh, you know, shaved hair on the side. Who's like down for whatever. will see this and be like, oh, my God, it's so hot. Oh, this is so hot that he would do this, that he that he he's so self-aware. It's so hot when when men know that they're ugly and and they're also, they they also know that women like this type of guy or something. I don't know. Like, it's really weird. Men flock to alt-right MRA movements is because the left gives brain-dead advice to young men. We need to be more compassionate to them, for our own sake. I'm sorry, but how is respect women brain-dead advice? What advice? Don't rape? Don't be a Ra rapist is bad advice? Help Not every guy who is single goes out and rapes people. That's insane. Help, I have no friends or community. I feel suicidal. Um, have you considered not raping exactly act like a decent fucking human being it's not hard is brain dead advice brain yes. dead advice yes like, it is get consent and don't imagine showing up to your 
counselor or therapist and they're like um have you considered being a decent person and not raping people <laughs> um yeah bye bye that'll be a hundred thousand a hundred thousand dollars thank you be a nazi and women are people walking up to men struggling with loneliness and depression like kids don't be racist incredible true here's my actual advice i would give to my teen boys as a leftist one always get enthusiastic consent Two, save the planet. <laughs> Three, don't say that. It's actually kind of racist. Like, what the f Ah, it's so liberal! I hate that. Oh, it's like... It, something reaches... It reaches a point of critical lib when you can, like, feel the slime, like, oozing down your body from, like, how liberal it is like oh like i need a shower after reading that it's disgusting is this how does this address men and their issues it doesn't why does their advice always seem to be become a liberal hey men here's yeah. how to fix all your problems agree with me politically men flock to the i agree with her on most things for the most part so far except for the graph um that's for reasons unrelated to the fact that it's just you know i i don't think she knows that it's wrong Although she'd probably push back if you pointed that out to her, but that's beside the point. I do agree with like her main underlying point here. MRA movement because they're the largest beneficiaries of MRA. Sh Imagine saying women flock to women's rights activism because they're the biggest beneficiaries of women's rights. Like no f***ing sh. Let's well, be yeah. honest. Aside from procreation purposes, men have become obsolete. Listen, if there's one guy who knows exactly what the f he's talking about, it's this man right here. He, he, he's, uh, he's the Rizzler. He's the, um, he's the woman under, the woman understander has entered the chat. Most women can find other methods of achieving orgasm without a man there. And speaking as a man, most of us are horrid to be around, and I don't blame any woman for just saying, no thanks. Same energy as the guy that I was talking about before. Oh my god, dude, this is what every just pearly things tweet looks like to me. Just with the oh. gender swapped. This is pathetic. You know what oh, fixes the woman male understander. Off. As a man, I'll say what? this. What? Sit down, shut up, and beat one out. You'll feel better. I promise. Well, yeah, you'll feel better, but like for like two seconds, and then you the loneliness sets in. Have these people never heard of post nut clarity? I, I I like to call it post nut depression. By the way, you, you feel like you want to crawl away, and at least if you if you're, it depends on the context. It's very contextual, but if you are like purposefully putting off problems in your life, like you're you're jerking off to like escape your problems. As soon as you're done, like it's bad. It's a really bad feeling, because <laughs> like your moment of dopamine hit is over and reality sets back in. And at least for the next 30 minutes, unless you train really hard, you really can't do that again, so. Yeah, guys, just beat one out. Just f off. Just watch porn. Batman will be very disappointed in all of you. It's so funny True. how men feel entitled to a girlfriend. No, you sexist freak. When one side is like, wanting a girlfriend is sexist entitlement, and the other side is like, here's how to get a girlfriend. I don't, I don't know, bro. What happened to males just kicking the bucket? Now they just come what? on here and try to make their loneliness and misery into some social justice issue. What? Wow, this is a real thing somebody said. Have you considered just killing yourself? Wow. That's uh, quite on the nose there. Jesus Christ. Oh, trust me. Men are still kicking the bucket. Yeah. No, they're not giving mind-blowing advice like just to be a liberal. They're outright dismissing men's issues completely. It's not our job to- Oh, you want, like, community and actual advice, and you want, like, somebody who loves you for who you are? Uh, why don't you kill yourself? Like, literally what- what they just said. That's insane. Educate them. Since men created the problem, they need to take steps to fix it. We have other things to care about. Men can figure out their own problems that they created. Again, it's not women's jobs to change how- Okay, I want to go back to this one real quick, because- if you've got other shit going on and you don't want to worry about men's issues, that's fine. That's valid. I'm not saying that every woman or even every leftist needs to worry about fixing men's problems. There are plenty of problems you can focus on instead. I don't even focus primarily on men's issues, by the way. It's one of the things I focus on, but usually it's more about trans uh, issues because that's very pressing right now. There are bigger issues than just men being lonely. That is true, but that doesn't mean it's not a problem. There's bigger issues, I got news for you guys, than trans issues right now. More important issues. Oh my god, cancel me. It's true. There's f children starving in Africa. Oh, I'm sorry, transes. Does that trigger you? Like, uh, yeah. 
Dude, you can always find a bigger fucking problem. That doesn't mean that mine don't matter. Stop with this sh Sorry, Transis. I, that was not directed at you. I just was using you as an example. Thank you. Men can figure out their own problems that they created. Again, it's not women's jobs to change how men are socialized. It's a man issue I hate and y'all need to address that. This is like a gauntlet of the slimiest liberal bullshit ever. I despise this. Thank you, Shu, for making me go through this. Amongst yourselves. Men created their own problems. Men can solve their own problems. The left is busy. Why does the well-being of other people concern me? Leftist, by the way. It's all systemic True. issues and societal factors and blah, blah, blah. Until I know she's a controversial figure on the left, but she's actually spitting in this video. I 95% agree with everything she's saying. It's a man and then suddenly it's pull yourselves up by your bootstraps. This problem is just a consequence of the patriarchy. Now take a wild guess about True. which gender created the patriarchy. Okay, but women also uphold the patriarchy. Like, you know that, right? Margaret Thatcher existed, all right? Like, there, there are people, women in power right now, upholding the patriarchy. There are conservative patriarchal figures, power figures, in government, conservative, women, in government. Solve your own problems and leave women alone. These people rightly mock the bootstraps rhetoric until the subject is a man, and then it's bootstraps all the way down. They would never talk about any other- Shark talk a bit about women upholding patriarchy in one of his vids. Shark's awesome. He, he has the best videos about, like, men's issues. Uh, when he does make them. He, he doesn't make them that often anymore, but he, he has a very good history of talking about men's issues. You guys should... Uh, I'm sure there's like 100% crossover between my tiny audience and Shark's giant one, but just in case there's some stragglers, go subscribe to Shark Through a Zero. Amazing content. Other group this way, it's wild. And it's kind of like both sides are telling men to pull themselves up by their bootstraps, but one is like, I'll show you how, and the other is like... Yep. Off. And when they're yep. not telling men to straight up f off, they're giving the 200 IQ answer that nobody has ever heard before. Just show your emotions, bro. And I'm not dismissing this problem, okay? I've, I've made videos talk. Yeah, that is a problem on uh, for men, but that's like the best solution you'll get from most leftists if they give you one, right? Is men need to show their emotions more, but men aren't allowed to. Like, let me tell you guys something. I've been looking for an opportunity to bring this up because I've been watching One Piece with Katie, right? We're like almost, we're, we're past 400. We just got past 400 episodes. And there are a lot of really up and sad moments in One Piece, like really sad. Because you get to know these characters, you get connected. Like, it's just a sad show sometimes. It's happy overall, but sometimes it's sad. I feel like still sitting next to my very progressive non-binary partner, who has never judged me a single day in her life. Not, not, not once. She's never judged me. I still feel like I can't cry in front of her. Now, I, I get past that feeling and I cry anyway. But, like, there's still that one little nugget of, like, I, I, I can't. I can't show emotion right now. Like, I gotta suck it up. I hate that. I f***ing hate that. All right? So, yeah, that's, like, that is a real problem. But... Just telling men to show their emotions, bro. Like, just be more emotional, bro. Like, no. First of all, most women don't even want that. They don't. Because you, then they just become an emotional dumpster for men, right? And secondly, that's not a, a be-all, end-all to their problems. You know? Seeing a therapist can certainly help. And that's better advice than just show your emotions, by the way. A therapist helps. But they're not going to solve all your problems either. Um, emotional management helps. But it's not going to solve all those problems. Uh, it's a very complex situation, and sometimes it takes an individualized approach. But largely, it's just a cultural thing. Like, people don't talk to each other as much. Men aren't socialized. They're not taught how to be emotionally intelligent, frankly. And so that just makes... And, and women, frankly, tend to be the gatekeepers of sex. You know, that part, the MRAs get right. They, the women are the gatekeepers of sex. They decide who they have sex with, and usually they're not told no. Men can't do that. We can't. So, you know, that kind of uh, makes women the gatekeepers. Um, it's a cultural thing but uh, that, that you can work around, that not all people adhere to. But, you know, it's, it's a complex problem. And just telling men to just show their emotions is not going to solve it. Talking about this. Oh, you're crying at your grandfather's funeral? Okay, f it. And studies have shown that men are scared to be vulnerable, even around- Okay, that's a little bit of an exaggeration. I think men are- Socially, men are allowed to cry at funerals. That's fine. 
found the homies. And can you blame them when the media says stupid like this? Fellas, is it woke to open up to your fellow men and discuss history? Wait, wait what is this? Three quarters of tradesmen discuss their feelings with colleagues, while two thirds shun the fried breakfasts and nearly half say they are history buffs. What? Did I have a stroke while reading that? What? Where, where did fried breakfasts come into this? Is this like a a UK thing? The fried breakfasts? What is that? Wait, what? Why are they talking about bre- Okay. Fellas, is it woke to open up to your fellow men and discuss history? Men are socialized to believe strength, dominance, and stoicism are behaviors of a real man. Is it any surprise that men are lonely and have less friends nowadays? You have to be vulnerable True. to make Hunter, friends. Hunter, Hunter W. Don't tell me there aren't systemic problems affecting- I don't agree with Hunter on everything, but this is a W for him. Men. Now, while a lot of this may be true, men have been socialized this way for centuries, and this is all relatively a new phenomenon. Toxic masculinity has existed forever. If anything, there's less toxic masculinity nowadays. Yeah, but the difference. Okay, to be fair here, yes, men have pretty much, you know, in recent history, always been like this. But the solution to that was simple. We owned women. We just owned them. Like property. <laughs> like we didn't have to rizz them up. Like we just kind of captured them and made them our wives or sold our children off to be wives to somebody else. Like that was our solution to that. Now that we can't do that, it's time to move on to a new solution because that's not, uh, it's not going to cut it anymore. I think that just makes life worse for everybody. So uh, yeah. The cultural embrace of like gender nonconformity, femboys, Harry Styles. And she would dress, never admit that, by Barbie the way. Movie, blah, 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 blah. My point is toxic masculinity did not just appear in the mid 2010s, but social media did and the internet did and the rise of dating apps did and the housing crisis and living in a country where the wealth inequality is worse than it was during the Gilded Age. That all happened recently. Oh my God, the privileged life these poor little boys must have that their biggest problem is being uh, lonely, i.e. so insufferable that nobody wants to sleep with them. Oh, ironic that you would say that, not you, this poster. So insufferable, yeah. So much more pressing Must be the men the who's poor insufferable. distribution of wealth causing people to suffer food and housing insecurity. Okay, shut the f up, once again. You can literally point at any problem and say, Oh, that's not a real problem because this other problem is even worse. There are people dying and kids being stolen and sex slavery. <laughs> what is wrong with you? That's psychotic. No. Like, yeah, of course there are problems. And if you go to a starving kid in Africa, guess what? There's a starving kid in Africa who also has cancer. So go tell those starving kids that their problems are because their fucking neighbor has cancer. So suck at the up you starving african children because your neighbor has cancer and you don't have a right to complain little pieces of shit, you ingrates eat your moldy bread like what is wrong with you people stop stop with this stop i hate this shit so much boohoo you're lonely and have no friends and are suicidal when because feeling alienated under capitalism apparently isn't a thing people are working harder and longer while wages have been stagnant men have been dropping out of college like flies and what does that get you poor men which since women are doing yep. amazing in college now and many are now out earning men this most of the time leads to single men which then leads to lonely men which leads to <sighs> depressed men which leads to the high Rate. In my opinion, leftism at a policy level does a great job addressing the shitty material conditions that in part lead to the problems that men are facing, but then absolutely drops the ball yeah. when it comes to everything and anything related to men's cultural issues. Many such cases. And why would a struggling man even yeah. want to move left when the left appears actively hostile to them? The question of whether or not the oh, hashtag God. online left is enough to appeal the hashtag men has become the question du jour. And like, men have most of the money, authority, and do most of the murdering and assaulting. The average young man in America isn't Jeff Bezos. Thought Slime is, is so f pretentious. I, I, the only video I ever enjoyed from Thought Slime uh, was the ADHD one. But even that was a little bit weird because when I'm, like there was one part where they were talking about like, oh, when I'm sitting in a conversation, I'm just sitting there waiting for them to stop talking because then I can say my really cool thing that I think is really important. And I want to say it before the conversation topic switches, which I felt that way, sure, as an ADHD person, but like, it's not that big a deal. Like just move on. Topic changes, you drop what you were going to say and you move on. You know, it's maybe that's just a me thing, but that seemed a little bit pretentious. Jesus. Also, why did this motherfucker just FBI crime statistics? Oh, yeah, they apologized for saying nanners. 
Oh, that's so awesome. Men do the most murder. How ableist. Okay. They like having all of the stuff they don't deserve. They Ugh. like that. Ugh. They they want it to stay that way because it suits them. Because of the stuff, telling people they're special and deserve all the nice shit that they have, that's going to be an easier sell 10 times out of 10 than like saying, hey, maybe you should have less stuff and other people should have more. Left is okay, but that's a problem with like rich people and conservative mindsets. So here's the difference. When conservatives martyr themselves, right? It's the meme of like this, the, the shoe stepping on a kid's head, but then the kid's arm is the, what's stepping, like the kid's arm is in the shoe, right? So functionally, he's stepping on, his, on himself. When conservatives pull that, it's pathetic, right? They're saying, oh, I can't, I can't be Christian anymore. Where's my Merry Christmas? Why does the cashier say happy holidays to me? This is outrageous. I'm being persecuted. I'm being oppressed. This is awful, right? That's kind of what leftists are trying to say men in, as a group are doing. And that's just not true. You don't get to choose whether or not you're a man. Okay. Well, I guess you can now, but you know, bear with me here. Usually you can't choose whether or not you're a man. You either are or you're not. And as a man, we still have problems. Are they always the worst problems? No. You know, are they self-inflicted? Sometimes. Yeah. But they're problems nonetheless. And men have them more in some areas than other groups of people do. So if you are a true leftist and you want to address systemic problems, what, that is one of the systemic problems that you should address, right? Or at least let other people address it without interfering and being a little shitter about it, right? Like if you're not going to say anything good about men, maybe just don't say it. You ever thought about that? Maybe just don't say it. is when you don't have a lot of stuff. We're going to take your stuff. You sound like a... 65 year old Fox News boomers idea of what the left is. Are you a CIA agent? The right is saying to men, you will own a house. You will have beautiful children with your loving wife. You will yep. have privacy. You will have free speech. You will own things and you will be happy. And the left is like, they like having all of the stuff they don't deserve. But don't get me wrong. Republicans yep. will not do shit. The Republican party will okay. not do all right. The establishment in general we go. will not do shit to help any of this. But the right is- All right, you rhetorically offering men something other than nothing or the eternal HR department. Literally Every correct. time this discord comes up, there's people like, we need a leftist Andrew Tate. We need masculine role models on the left. But the Vosh could be the leftist Andrew Tate. I'm going to say it. Vosh could be the leftist Andrew Tate. Not like to the same, it, like there's a lot of differences. Don't get me wrong. But like he could be like the prototype, right? But look at what, how much he's gotten, right? From other leftists. And why? Because he's edgy. Like, that's literally it. Other leftists hate him because he's edgy. So they go, like, gold digging for, like, old uh, cringe shit that he did. And then, like, he just, you know, is ostracized by the almost the entirety of the rest of the left, right? So that's why we can't have that. They want a leftist Andrew Tate until they get one. Because what they really want is for men to suck it up. Because they don't want to acknowledge that men have issues that need to be addressed. Okay, everybody is oppressed under capitalism. That includes rich people to a certain extent. By the way, everybody is worse off under capitalism. Everybody, all right? I know people don't want to say that billionaires have it rough, but really think about it. Billionaires don't have, don't get me wrong, they're, they're very well off. They are, but they would be better off if they weren't a millionaire, if they lived under socialism, because billionaires are constantly on the alert for people who are just trying to take advantage of them, for people who just want their money. And rightfully so, because they have all of it, right? So of course, every time they make a friend, they're going to get paranoid about that friend just wanting the, uh, to hang out with them for their stuff and their money. That's a way to live, you know? And again, I want to stress this. I'm not trying to say that Elon Musk has it rough. I'm not trying to like uh, say that he's, he has uh, any kind of reason to be upset about anything. But, like, that's a sh way to live, man. Just constantly being on the alert for people, uh, you know, who want to take your money. So, that's what the point I'm getting at is even privileged groups have specific issues in a systemic way that needs to be addressed. All right. I'm of probably the most privileged demographic that you can get. I'm cishet mostly, uh, I'm white, and I'm a dude. That's about as privileged as, and I was middle class growing up. That's about as privileged as it gets for like the middle, for like your standard middle class demographic. But even I have problems. 
I've had problems. And many of those result from being a man. You know, I was told growing up, don't, you know, don't cry. Men don't do that. Man up, blah, blah, blah. And that sucks. And that shaped a lot of my negative personality traits, which I have, you know, for the last few years been working on. So um, ignoring that is anti-leftist told me this would be a thing nine years ago, I would not believe you because anyone talking about men's issues back in the day was called an MRA or a pick me. But lately I have seen a lot of good pro-men lefty content and I'll put some links to some below. Ooh. I don't agree with all the points they say, but I recommend watching. It's much better than- I kind of want to see what she's got down here. Emotional objectification of men. I'm not going to watch this. I just kind of want to see what she linked. Okay, that's shot. I don't know any of these people. Thought Slime doesn't care. Broadly speaking. Okay, so this is a Vosh video. Thought Slime doesn't care if the left appeals to men or not. Vosh joins TYT to discuss why young men, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, this was the thing where Vosh went on Anna Kasperi. He continues to argue that left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, the good old days. What happened, man? We got to go back. We must return. Anna, please, please, please. Stop victim blaming men. Let's talk about something we don't talk. Shark! Let's go. Let's go. This was edited by Guitar Rocker. Look, she's in the chat. Look, look, look. It's my boy. Let's go. I love Shark. Shark's the best. Shark is like probably my favorite content creator right now. Shark is so good. Definitely go follow if you're not. Both sides seem to treat men as political fodder. Disposable soldiers in the culture war and real war. Anyway, misandry is real. Oh good, finally. And while it doesn't systemically affect cis men, it most certainly affects trans men. Oh, oh wow. y'all talking about misandry? Wow, no, wrong. It affects both of us. And also, you're being a little transphobic. You're trying to imply that there is uh, something about cis men. I mean, obviously cis and trans men are different, just like black and white men are different, blah, blah, blah. Black men obviously have more problems than white men. Like all the men, all the problems that white men have, black men have it like 10 times worse usually just because of like everything is exacerbated if you're black in America, which sucks. But like trans men also have issues uh, with misandry. Like they, they experience the same things that cis men often do, especially if they pass. There are trans men that pass better than I do. Uh, like they're very masculine looking. And so they actually, while well, they benefit from looking like uh, cis, like they benefit from passing, right? But they also have drawbacks. If they were to commit a crime of some sort or be accused of one even, they are more, far more likely to have a higher uh, prison sentence. Um, they're expected to not be as emotional, right? To not, uh, or, or be more rational or logical or more stoic or make more money. Like they still deal with all those problems. And I just, I, I really don't understand how you can acknowledge that trans men deal with misogyny, but cis men don't like, wait, or mis misandry, sorry. Uh, trans men also deal with misogyny, but that's another discussion. But, but trans men deal with misandry in exactly like 95% of the same ways that cis men do. So I don't understand that point. Andrew doesn't harm men, and trans men are right there reading this shit, by the way. I see, now we only care about misandry because it affects trans men. Everyone stop, it's affecting a group I care about now. I love how the rhetoric just like evolved That's true. overnight from male tears to cis male tears, and I just have to- It's really sad, by the way, I wanna point out how often trans men are just like forgotten about as a group. Um, this happens all the time because you know, for, for conservatives, they often say that like trans men are just like these crying little baby women who are just confused and need a good talking to. Like they, they just need to be fixed, right? Trans women, they, they definitely drew the short stick. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> like they, their problems tend to be worse in a variety of ways. But they're, this is like comparing apples to oranges, right? Trans men and trans women have very different issues when it comes to like misogyny and misandry. But trans men are just often forgot about as a group. Because I've even seen a meme. Hold on. Let's see if we can find this real quick. I wonder why there are no women transitioning to men and trying to compete in men's sports. <laughs> Idiots. Yeah. Bet. Bet! Okay? The f*** are you talking about? I'm pretty sure like the first publicly acknowledged trans athlete. I could be wrong on this. But the first like publicly acknowledged trans athlete in the, I think in the United States was a trans man. I'm fairly certain. I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain that's the case. And all of these men want to compete with other men, not with other women. 
What happened? What happened? I thought that trans people were all cheaters who just wanted to like get good scores against like uh, women. So what the f happened? Why do they why do they insist on competing with men? And they actually get upset when they ha are forced to compete with women. Like trans men, uh, like I said, their issues are very unique, but they are often forgotten about, even by the bigots who uh, shit on trans people all the time. So it just sucks. It sucks. To ask, why aren't you including trans men in your misandry, hmm? Nobody told me how lonely being a man is. We knew yeah. what de depth felt like before we transitioned. We knew what it felt like to like have people want to hug us and to have people want to talk to us and to have a community. And then you transition and you're just a guy walking down the street that people cross the street so that they're not near you. And friendships are so much harder to build. And what's hard is none of this invalidates how real and raw women and people who are in marginalized groups feel about cis white men. All of that's valid. But I also now understand why the suicide rate is so much higher in men. This guy's absolutely on it. Absolutely on it. Imagine growing up and being socialized as a person who is allowed to express emotions, who is, uh, who has no problems like hugging and kissing people, uh, you know, being more emotionally connected. And then you transition to somebody who's expected to just be emotionally vapid. Like, that sucks. You know? Clearly, like, he's still happy with his transition because he's not detransitioning, but, like, that's just a, a societal issue that needs to be fixed. understand why the suicide rate is so much higher in men. Welcome to being a man. Here's your complimentary isolation and yellow pillow. I love how even when he's... Yeah, that's a little shitty. You're not even a man. What the f***? Shut up. No. Being a man is awesome. Let's get this straight. Being a man is f***ing awesome. All right? We've got a lot going for us. Let's be clear. And I love being a man, and I wouldn't have it any other way. All I'm saying, and all I'm asking for, is for people to acknowledge my problems as real and legitimate. That's it. Okay? Don't tell me about how much worse other people have it uh, just because you don't want to, like, acknowledge that men actually have real problems. I know that people have it worse. It's just like what I said earlier about the African kids in, uh, in their little village eating moldy bread or some sh whatever. Like, yeah. They have it bad. Guess who has it worse? The African kid eating morning bread who also has brain cancer. So, you know, nobody's telling those kids to suck it up because of their friend having cancer. Shut the f*** up. Stop minimizing people's problems. It's just a bad person. It's a bad trait to have as a human being. It's disgusting. Stop. Experiencing the issues of being a man. He's like, this doesn't invalidate people hating men. Come on, bro. Men struggling don't want to be lectured about the patriarchy. They don't want to be told Correct. it's all their fault. They don't want to be told they're part of the problem because first of all, they're not. The average 20 year old didn't build society. They go to work, come home, f off to sissy hypno fetish porn and go to bed like everyone True. else. I've talked about this before, but a lot of men's value comes from the money they make, unfortunately. Men are natural providers, and if they have nobody to provide for, uh, they get into findom or... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Is she making a joke? ...are natural providers, and if they have nobody to provide for, they get into findom or send random girls on the internet money. I'm just kidding, but the fact is, okay, okay. a lot of men simply I was like, Wait a like they don't have a purpose anymore. Whether a job or a career yeah. that's fulfilling and pays well, or a woman or family to protect and take care of and provide for, men are lacking purpose. And a man will crawl through a broken glass for a purpose. But you know who does make them feel like they have a purpose? No, 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 not him. I say that what? life as a man is exceptionally difficult. I say the most beautiful and the ah, most the other Jesus. thing about being a man is you're born without value. Society doesn't care about you. The absolute audacity to act shocked that Andrew Tate is scooping these guys up after a decade of low male tears is insane. Andrew Tate isn't the solution to men's problems. But he is talking to them. The fact is, you did not yep. care about them for years. And even now, you just want to recruit them. He's a them, snake oil salesman. Them. And that's why you will fail. And hey, maybe I'll be the Andrew Tate of the left. Men, listen up. Wash your penis. So I guess I'll leave you guys with a question. Why do you think male loneliness has been increasing? What are your solutions for this problem? And are you dealing with loneliness? And I will see you guys next <laughs> time with a new video. Bye. Not really anymore, ever since I moved in with Katie. But I will say this, before I moved in with Katie, I was absolutely a little bit overbearing with her. 
she was really the only other person that I hung out with ever. Uh, so imagine how bad I would be without her. You know, I just don't have that many IRL friends. I have Greycraft now, thankfully, which we coincidentally met on Twitch. And I have Parker, who is the friend I mentioned earlier, who I only see like once every year or something. But like, you know, I thought this was a I thought this was a pretty good shoe video because she does. She addresses the problem pretty head on. And every time that a male leftist gets any kind of proliferance on the interwebs, if you're not Hassan, at least Hassan doesn't really talk about men's issues that much, which is fine. It's, it's irrelevant. But like any time that a man gains any sort of relevance on the left, it's one of two things happens. One, they don't talk about men's issues and instead, like, just say that men need to suck it up. And actually, I take it back. Hassan is kind of guilty of this. They say he says that men needs to suck it up, that, uh, you know, you're beta soy cucked if you're complaining as a man, blah, blah, blah. I don't think he's ever directly said that, but he's guilty of doing a little bit of that rhetoric as I as am I, as is every leftist. OK, it, ha it happens. So that's one possibility. The other possibilities are more of a Vosh type or Shark 0 where you do talk about men's issues. You do treat them as though they're real problems. But then what inevitably happens is you're ostracized from the left. They say that you're not a real leftist, right? You're not really addressing real issues that real people face, real minorities, right? Real disenfranchisement. Okay, who the f*** do you think you're winning over with that rhetoric? Because that's my thing lately. I am trying to very carefully construct a personality that is attractive to people who otherwise would be repelled by the left. Much like Vosh is doing, okay? And Shark. You know, building a, a likable personality, giving people tangible solutions to their problems, and just hearing people out, you know, hear people out. You know, if, if, if a guy is having issues with loneliness, they're saying that they can't get a girlfriend, it's not always because they're just rizzless or they're a rapist, God forbid, right? And it's, it's sad to see leftists that, you know, I once respected. I used to have respect for Thought Slime, okay? I did. But, um... You know, it's sad to see leftists that I would otherwise have respect for or that I used to have respect for and have since lost it engage in this kind of behavior where it's like you'll recognize the problems of every other group of people, every other demographic except for men. OK, well, I didn't choose to be a guy. I didn't choose this, you know, and, I, and my problems are real. I feel like I can't express my emotions as much. I feel a lot of pressure to be the provider, you know, to make enough money to have kids even. Which, you know, I want kids anyway, but you know, that is a problem on the left is or for men, I should say. Sorry. I guess at the end of the day, um, I just wish the leftists would tackle men's issues like they tackle every other group's issues, which is systemic solutions to a systemic problem. That's all. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload. You can join my channel membership at youtube.com slash TTV slash join for only 99 cents a month. That's less than the price of a blowjob from your mom. You can be part of the channel membership program and you will get early access content as well as a sweet badge next to your name and exclusive emojis in the comments that nobody else gets. Thank you again and I will see you all in the next video.